I mean, yeah. you got James Bond. What's his name again? Daniel Craig. Dan, no, it's not Daniel Craig. You Pierce dumb. Bronson. You don't talk for <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Daniel Joe talk. talk. Uh, that guy. Pierce what Pierce? Bronson. Thank you. Yeah. Daniel Craig's not even there. <laughs> the Bond. What, what, yeah, but James Bond before Daniel Craig is Pierce Bronson. Did you know that? I knew there were other ones. Yeah, I knew. Pierce oh my God! I, I mean, he's what? How are you, old are you? He's uh, nine. Nine. Uh, he's nine. <laughs> he's nine. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, George Clooney is the only one I think pulls it off. Uh, uh, not the only one. The one who pulls off gray the best. Yeah. And he also has got, but he, I'm also jealous. He's got a great beard, too. He can grow a, a thick, you know, and like, yeah. even that looks good, you know? Yeah, he's a good looking but he's man. But he also got famous gray. When he was on ER, he was starting, he had the little gray. Uh, not a good looking young man. No, he looked old and sickly. When, when he, he was, was young, he did not. He became better looking as he got older. And God damn it, Brad Pitt is just never. Stu- he's just looked good in every single aspect. Yeah, I know. He is. He really is a good looking man. Him and I Ryan mean, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds yeah. is also like. I mean, I, I take that. Oh yeah, younger. Yeah, look at no, the one over to the right with the glasses, the little kid. Oh, that's brutal. Look at that's to the right, you fucking stomach. The only glasses. one with glasses. The only one with glasses. <laughs> Max, are you all right? Yeah, good. I mean, what the fuck? I feel like you... I say to the right with glasses, you go to the left with no glasses. I feel like you purposely hired a person named Max so you could take out your parenting frustrations. (laughs) My son doesn't piss me off about this fucking idiot. (laughs) This episode is brought to you by Ghostbed. Look, you want to be the funniest person in the room, right? You got to make sure you're well-rested. Great jokes and tired brains, they don't mix. So if you're not sleeping well, you might need a new mattress. Guess what? The great, awesome folks at Ghostbed make the best one. I have one. I sleep on it. Both mattresses up at my tiny house are Ghostbed. I love them. In fact, the, it's a family-owned business. That's why I love them. Who's been making mattresses in the U.S. for over 20 years. You know I love the U.S. You can tell when you lie down on their beds that they're super high quality. All their mattresses feature signature cooling technology that ensures you don't wake up in a big pool of sweat. Take advantage of free shipping and 101 night mattress sleep trial and financing starting at only 35 bucks a month. You don't have to go in and pay the whole thing. Most orders ship within 24 hours, so you can start sleeping better this week. Listeners can get 40% off all products site-wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress with an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide. Limited time only. Yeah, baby. We're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude? Live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKWD. I started the social media podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKWD podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all, YKWD. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Rip the ball down, man. I'm sorry. It's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. I mean, <laughs> Max is the dumbest person I know. My producer literally is the fucking dumbest person I know. I said, when the music goes, give me a three, two, one. He went six, four, <laughs> one. Whoa. What is that? That's in the history first. of anything in this business, no one ever went six, five, one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what the f- Anyways, well, welcome back to another episode of YKWD. You know what, dude? And I hate every I have people on, uh, do a promo at the end. Will you, YN, what is it? Shut up. You know what it is. It's the law. Lo- I'm the one who did it. And then you did it. So I don't care how more successful you are <laughs> than me. That don't mean garbage. You know, I planted the seeds. <laughs> and then you went, and oh, well, this is, and how do I plant? 
and you, whoever you learned it from, learned it from me. Or their fucking grandfather, their father's father learned it from me. You understand? And we're still here. <laughs> I won't die. I won't stop. I'll do this podcast till I'm fucking, I'll be in the chair. I'll have Danny up there fucking drooling. Max going for six, two, nine. Go. Six, five, one. I hate you. <laughs> this, this is why. I, the, the reason why my show is not successful, I will take some of the credit. But I, it's because I hire comedians to produce it. I should have hired a fucking good person a long time ago. But I didn't. Chrissy D did. <laughs> Sal did. <laughs> Tom Segura did. I got fucking gagush and fucking and bleh. And then moot. All right, anyways, we got a great show for you. We're back. I'm all, I'm busting balls. Uh, Patreon.com uh, slash Robert Kelly. You want to watch this live. If you're watching it on YouTube, that's great. Be a stingy prick. But you want to watch it live, unedited with all the other crazy shit, go to Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Plus, you help me pay for the uh, medical bills for these people who work for me. <laughs> uh if not, you're on you're on YouTube watching it. Just subscribe, hit the button. You know the thousands of people watch the show. Hit the goddamn button. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the shows. I have been, and uh, that's about it. I got my dates. Go to robertkellylive.com. Uh, I am everywhere all the time, uh, and of course, Bonfire uh, with Big J Okerson on Sirius XM 103 Faction Talk five four days a week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Check that out, too. And a bone to pick, my other favorite little podcast uh, with Paul Verzi. You can check that out on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we got a great show today. Haven't been on in a while. Uh, now we got, they used to come on all the time as a, as a threesome uh, with his gay friends. <laughs> uh, and now, you know what? They broke up. They're not gay anymore. Give it up. Mike Feeney, everybody. Hi. I'm, I'm back. This is exciting. This is very jarring. All of this is throwing me. I walked in. You got hand on the wall pissing, which is like, I thought something was wrong with you. I didn't shut the door. I thought, but I didn't know you peed with the hand on the wall like that. That's, Who doesn't use the hand on the wall? Every Unless the only time I use a hand on the wall is if it's like I'm racing to the bathroom. It's such an emergency that I just made it. And then it's like a sigh of ecstasy when it comes out. I always have hand on wall. Wow. Because I like to get over. The, I don't like to tinkle on the seat. You and don't have the aim? Dude, I don't have the... I mean, the older you get, your flow dies. See, these are things you don't know yet. No, I've noticed a, a stream change. Now, here's my difference. My stream is still potent and powerful. However, the amount in which I pee... Every night when I get ready for bed, I will go to the bathroom, and then I'll like brush teeth, wash face, that kind of stuff. By the time I'm done doing that, yeah. I piss a second time equally as much as I had just pissed less than five minutes ago. It doesn't make sense. So you have a thing at night that you do, like a like you you wash your face at night? Wash my face, go to brush my teeth, you know? You have the same uh, rituals as my mother. Yeah, that's what her, I, bet she, I bet she had great skin. Dude, I got great skin. You don't moisturize or, or wash your face, you know what, brush you, your teeth? Can I tell you why I don't wash my face even in the shower? Sure. Because the soaps that we use is the reason why your face people get old. Well, yeah, you can't use like a bar of soap. No. Well, you can't use shit. All the stuff has stuff in it that fucks your skin up. I don't. I don't I've never washed my face in the shower. My natural oils in my fuck my skin. <laughs> give me this <laughs> close up on this, and then give me a ting at the I'm end. I'm so good. Ting. I'm so just because now you have yeah. When you have all these friendship bracelets, what's going on here? This yeah, dude. Like, I'm I'm I'm. I mean, I'm I'm transitioning into yeah. a fucking a lesbian. <laughs> this is a man clinging to something. I don't. And then <laughs> you're throwing out you're throwing out Italian. I think the Verzi podcast is influencing your speech. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah. I got my, you show my Italian. That. Listen, man, and I. This is the funny thing too. You can always tell when comics are talking behind your back, when a comic brings something up and then another one brings up the same thing. That means they're like, "What the fuck?" But I'm going to agree with this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I get more Italian when I'm around Verzi, and it's he brings it out of you. Right. All of a sudden, yeah. I'm fucking <laughs> from Revere, Massachusetts. The are up, yeah. Stanouts, <laughs> fucking gaboos. Yeah. Fucking galleys. Yeah. It's very, uh... It's, it's, it's hard not to get... It's Because I am Italian, 
I have Italian in me. Italian I, got, I think I'm like half, maybe really? a little less than half. I just pictured you Irish forever. No, my father is a fucking ginger. Oh, what is that? My father. <laughs> my, <laughs> my father. <laughs> my father. Yeah. Dude, I, I used to have that joke in my act about my friends, though, that become Italian, like off the boat Italian, but they're not. They're like right. second generation. Yeah, but yeah. as soon as you go to the restaurant, they're like, yeah, let me get the uh, pasto bajo. <laughs> I remember and, that. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fucking yeah. ate that. <laughs> Those, my, my friend Paul, God love you, uh, Paul G, yeah. he does that. Like when his restaurant, his Italian restaurant, he goes, yeah. hey, but he's very like, hey, how you doing? This is... Uh, Paul uh, from Casaletos. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, yeah, Stop. Yeah. Can I get the pasta fagiul? Yeah, yeah, that kind of hey, stuff. Yeah, uh, you want to come to the... <laughs> what else is different about this? Because I haven't been on the show and I, I think like, I don't know, like seven or eight years. And uh, the difference now is it's just a one-on-one. This is a lot more... This is a lot different, you know. Well, Usually, I, you're yeah. you're splitting your focus. You're you're aiming at Mike. You're aiming at Brendan. You're aiming at me. And now it's just we just have a laser. This is just a laser focus. It's yeah, gonna be, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say two things about uh-huh. it. Two things. Okay. Yes, that's true. It was getting to the point where I still do the regs. Mm-hmm. Once in a while, we'll have a couple people on. Sure. Uh, but it was too much. Uh, my patience and my I I, I wasn't able to. I used to have, you know, I mean, Dan, Joe, Giannis, Lewis, sure. Nate, you guys. I could fuck, I could deal with it. Right. I couldn't, I, I was just too, I just didn't like it anymore. And the podcast always went too long. Two more people, three more people talking. It's a two hour. It's like, right. I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. I wanted to do the podcast, but I wanted to just sit down with one person, maybe two. Sure. And just shoot the shit. I love the throne thing. Yeah, it's, dude. It's just a, it's an easier setup. It's a funner thing. Um, it's just, it's better for me. That's one. Number yeah. two, you're a good looking man. Hey. And I didn't notice it when we had the other fucking See? things to make is on. <laughs> really? I mean, I thought, I thought that was my point. That's why I purposely surrounded myself with them was to <laughs> go to elevate. You don't need to surround. <laughs> dude, you're a fine. I mean, you keep washing your face at See, night, it's kid. A, yeah. I mean, I'm, Heels. I used yeah. to have a little foot away from you, but that one yeah. foot. This is, it's a difference. Those you know? little dreamy, yeah. what yeah. those green eyes? Are those Hazel, green? Hazel, Hazel, thank you very much. My God, dude, yeah. your hair rocking. I'm out here, you know? I'm trying. Yeah. Um, the grays are starting to come in, I'm noticing every once in a while, though. Yeah, get that medicine, baby. You can't do I'm the not, gray. I think, I, I think I'd like to go a, a nice Clooney salt pepper at some point. I think that's, because you, that's a Because good you have a young face. Yeah. And you want, you want to start doing stuff of uh, your age. I guess. I mean, I, I'll, I'll play a 21-year-old if I get booked on something, for right. sure. But I don't think I well, can. What, oh, yeah, like that. There you go. I mean, yeah. you got James Bond. What's his name again? Daniel Craig. Dan, no, it's not Daniel Craig, you Pierce dumb. Brown. You don't talk for anymore. <laughs> Daniel Joe talk. talk. Uh, that guy. Pierce what Pierce, Brown's thank it. you. Yeah. Daniel Craig's not even there. <laughs> James Bond. What, what, yeah, but James Bond before Daniel Craig is Pierce Bronson. Did you know that? I knew there were other ones. Yeah, I knew. Pierce oh, my now. God. I, I mean, he's. What How are you, old are you? He's uh, nine. Nine. Uh, he's nine. He's nine. He's um, nine. Uh, yeah. George Clooney is the only one I think pulls it off. Uh, uh, not the only one. The one who pulls off gray the best. Yeah. And he also has got, but I'm also jealous. He's got a great beard, too. He can grow a, a thick, you know, and like, yeah. even that looks good, you know? Yeah, he's a good looking man. Also, he also got famous gray. When he was on ER, he was starting, he had the little gray. Uh, not a good looking young man. No, he looked old and sickly. When, when, he, when he was, was young, a- he did not, he became better looking as he got older. And God damn it, Brad Pitt has just never... Stu- He's just looked good in every single aspect. Yeah, I know. He is. He really is a good-looking man. Him and I Ryan mean, Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds yeah. is also like... I Ryan. mean, I, I take that. Oh, yeah, younger... Young, look at... No, the one over to the right with the glasses. The little kid. Oh, that's brutal. Look at... That's to the right, you fucking stomach. The only glasses. one with glasses. The only one with glasses. <laughs> Max, are you all right? Yeah, good. I mean, what the fuck? I feel Max? like you. I say to the right with glasses. You go to the left with no glasses. <laughs> I feel like you purposely hired a person named Max so you could take out your parenting frustrations. <laughs> you My really... son doesn't piss me off about this fucking idiot. <laughs> I mean, this guy's mental. Six four one. That's your new nickname. Six four one. Yeah, he was a goofy looking dude, right? Yeah. yeah not... Look at those bangs, man. Wow. Woo. Seventies. 
or 60s maybe that was i don't know uh, i have no idea be, old i know it's got to be the 70s because he's old he's older than me but look at the one next to the one that you have uh hovering over that one where he looks like no why did you go down no the one because he's yep. still the other way though just one over. Oh my God! Are you? He's kidding? mentally ill. The, to the L left. One left. <laughs> Our left. You're going right. You're going right. Oh my God! Next to the left. pink one. Left. The other left. side. That one right there. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, he's good. That's like that's some um, Ricky Ricardo. Yeah. You, I mean, you look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Make that face. Uh, Try to make that face at that camera. Look at that. I mean, you got it, dude. <laughs> Tell Hollywood, would yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, those. It's over. Dude. Yeah, that's done. But. It's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah. You know, now we're now here's the thing. You're part of um here's the scenario. You were part of uh, Irish Goodbye. Yes. And I and now all those are gone. It's funny. There's you, you never can't you you guys ended. Mm -hmm. Here's the scenario. We did. We just the, the last episode is uh, is just probably releasing after this comes out or already has come out, but it uh <laughs> It was just such a weird thing. And I, 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 you know, Cannon, you know, basically, you know, he got this job at Barstool and it was under contract and they were negotiating. So for six months, we knew we were ending the podcast. We had to end the podcast because they had like a non-compete, couldn't do any other projects, whatever. A great opportunity for him, a ton of money for him. So where everyone was like, of course, go get your fucking bag, you know. And then as of six months, the prog it just kept going and kept going. So we were kind of like in this weird you know, purgatory of when's the show going to end. And then Dave Portnoy bought back the company. Yeah. And immediately all of his, you know, deals, all that went away. Wow. And they were like, basically like, well, you could still do the show now, I guess. But we had already, we had all, even like the producer, we had all kind of grieved it and come to terms with it ending and being like, we already kind of mentally passed it. So then we were like, well, let's still kind of wind it down anyway. And of course, the second we announced that it's it's ending, there's been like more views on it than ever. Outcry. Every single comic at Skankfest giving us third Joe DeRosa gave me a 30 minute impassioned plea being like, you guys are making a terrible mistake. <laughs> Just every single person has been like, don't do this, which is so funny because it had those people been there the the last three oh, years, yeah. uh, it would have been. It's so funny when people. Give me one sec, one sec. Uh -huh. This is the last YKWD. Yeah, you should. I'm, I'm no, I'm serious. This is it. This I'm is done. It. We're out. Yeah, I'm out. So unless all you people go to Patreon.com yeah. and sign up for a year, it's over. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm starting a podcast called "This Is the Last Episode of the Podcast." <laughs> <laughs> we'll work on the title. It's a little long. It's but, a little. Uh, yeah, it's a little. <laughs> not good for t-shirts. <laughs> This is the maybe last a, episode. Maybe a bus if you have yeah. a bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the last episode of the podcast <laughs> yeah. unless you watch the next one. Yes, please do and subscribe. Well, uh, what do you, uh, well, you, you quit the thing. He gets a gig. Yeah. With Chrissy D out of the gate. I yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah. Which is it, great. Shockingly, su surprisingly quick. Now, how long before we lose uh, Sagalo? To health yeah, or, exactly. to, to or to rap or to suicide? <laughs> to suicide. Uh, I don't know. I think he's, you know, I, w here's the thing. Every everyone, like, no matter how much anyone wants to give him shit for the rap, like, he is very good at it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you watch it and you go, the guy, oh, we always laugh and we make fun of him. We're like, man, if you were writing your jokes, like you're writing these <laughs> raps, there's wordplay, there's intricate puns, there's, like, yeah. nuance. It's amazing, you know? Um, but, you know, but then people will comment being like, this is what you should do. Fuck the comedy, you know, yeah. which then is obviously I would under I would arguably be. But is somebody going to want to see a fat Eminem? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's. I would call. I would change my name to Peanut Eminem. That's fun, right? That's fun. Peanut Eminem. Let's 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 pitch it. I and love he comes that. Comes out in the out. You know what I mean? Yeah, in the big yellow. Yeah, it's the big yellow. Yeah, I think that could uh, work. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what he's gonna. I think he wants to do a bunch of stuff. He wants to <laughs> record a special, but he's, he loves the he, he loves the rap. You know, um, but yeah, he what, he loves he. Well, look, he's good at rap, but I mean, dude, what a t first of all. Tough thing to get into, tough thing to get into in your thirties. Yeah, but those are those are the clips that are blowing up for him right now. He's getting like millions of views on his rap. Yeah, I mean, look, man, you never know. Something, you know, I, you have to kill something. You have to kill the past life to go to the next one. Yeah, you can't be holding on to it. So it's probably good that that ended because even you, dude. I mean, you're you're a. Uh, social media guy. You know how to you you. I mean, you you are an influencer. Oh, you, do, you do you do videos that get millions of views, 
right? And you produce your own stuff. You write your own thing. You film it. You edit it. I mean, yeah. you're a one-stop shop. Yeah, one-stop shop of doing too much. Yeah, feels like. Uh, but that's and that's why not to transition into this, but that's why with this <laughs> special that's coming out. Did you uh, your fucking hair was made for you to talk like that? Yeah, mm-hmm. it, that, little, yeah. that little thing pops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's an accent. Oh, you know, dude, when I had hair, dude, to have that, I always the felt whip the one little hair that yeah. was kind of rogue, the little razor Ramon. Yeah, and you kind of go like that, and it yeah. whips. And, yeah, oh, talking to a girl, and it flops in your face, and then you. She'll put it away. But see, that kind of drives... When I'm on stage, it kind of drives me crazy a little oh, bit. So I find myself crazy doing too. this a lot. <laughs> yeah. I find myself like brushing my hair a lot in between jokes, which is... Uh, hot. I guess. Sexy. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Hot. Hopefully. Hot, right? Yeah, very hot. Yeah, see? yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just yeah. keep working that into the pod. But... Uh, Joe's really gay, so I'm not going to ask You know. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the thing, though. It's like, you know, it feels like more than ever we're in this thing of, like, you got to do everything yourself. And there's nothing more I want to do than, like, work with my funny friends and make funny things, whether that's, like, podcasts, videos, TV shows, all of that stuff. Like, that's the most fun. Doing all this on your own sucks. It's, like, so much work, and it's really exhausting, but it feels like... You know, everybody has their own career path, and then you can occasionally get together to make fun. But like you guys are doing with the regs, right? Where it's like you guys all had to go do your own thing, yeah. and now you're all you came back, you do this, and now it's like, and now that's seeing a lot of success, you know? Well, I dude, I'm doing a lot of shit right now. Yeah, you have you're doing an insane amount, a insane amount of stuff. But you know, the bonfire, I I mean, I just I love doing it. Sure, working with Jay's, it was just I mean, it's just easy. Yeah. Um. You know, and it, the transition was pretty good. You know, I mean, it, it was weird to transition, you know, such a, you know, I mean, he's a cornerstone of the building, Dan Soda. Sure. But I'm glad the show's still going on. The fans, most of the fans are happy about it. Some of them are fucking like, fuck Bob, he stinks, which I get. I'm not a, you know, if you're a Dan fan, you you know, I get it. Yeah. It's fine, but it's, you know. It's, you're the stepdad. You're coming in. They're never. You're never gonna be the. You're never gonna be the original dad, but you can be the next best thing. You yeah, know? it's. I. But I'm cool with that. I understand that yeah. shit. Um. And then, but you know, a bone to pick. I love doing. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Verzi have been doing stuff. We were always looking for something to do together. Right. And any time we did a podcast, we'd always like, dude, I got a bone to pick with you. And we were like, let's, you know, let's do that. Uh, I wound up do. I did that on my show for a minute, and then I was like, this is what me and he him should be doing. That thing's killing it. Right. And then, of course, YKWD, and then the regs. The regs is more of like a passion thing, though. We're like, sure. fucking, let's just get together. We should have did this years ago. Yeah. And, you know, that was the best podcast on the planet for a while. Yeah. You and, guys together, it's like it's like the perfect chemistry. But yeah. you guys all have your different strengths that all right. complement one another. It's awesome. Yeah. So we should have been doing, I mean, if imagine if I, we stayed just doing that. But that's the thing, though. It's <laughs> like, I don't think it would have been as good because all oh, of dude. you would we have w- eventually been... No, because then it's like, think about how much all of you have done since when you guys when you used to come on regularly. Like, what would it... Like, if Dan took the job at Sirius while you guys were doing this, they would have been fighting. Like, dude, what are you doing? We got the regs. We should put all our focus into the... You know what I mean? Lewis might not have even started gas. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all of this stuff would like have I been... Like I said, it would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a butterfly <laughs> effect that would have ruined... You know what I mean? Would been better for you for sure <laughs> <laughs> you would have had control of all this you would have had lewis under your thumb and no 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 it. i would have gave i would have had to give everybody you know equal everything yeah 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 in hindsight um you know even derosa me and derosa were supposed to i i actually offered derosa to be partners with you know what dude Oh. oh, I was like, dude, we sh- uh, whatever, we'll split it down the middle. Me and you do this, and he was like, nah. and he was like, he was like, yeah, I'll do it. Hold on, Oops, no. Sal's calling. Hold on, let me just <laughs> yeah, Burr. Yeah. It was Burr back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. He has many different oh, coattails. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, dude. It's um, but I love doing all the stuff I'm doing. I love it. Yeah. Should I be doing? You know, I do this podcast once a week, which is great. Um, make no money. Sure. All the money that I make on it goes back out of it. To yeah, to back your into 11 it. producers that you have. Yeah, I know, but there's, a, fucking... there's, there's a lot of overhead in this thing, huh? No um, offense, guys. <laughs> These guys are like, shut the fuck up. But it's like. No, no, no. Yeah. They, they, they should be getting more. Yeah. I wish I could give them more. Sure. They, these guys kill it. So it's. Uh, but we'll try. I'm, I'm trying to rearrange things. We'll see what happens. 
Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about that because I'm doing it. Like, dude, I'm writing two things on the side. Yeah. I have things going on. It's like, and then you're a, fi- you know, Stretch you know this. Him. You're a dad. I, I had a conversation with uh, Quinn about this. It's like, I'm doing all the stuff I love to do. Most of it doesn't make me much money or any. Right. Um, but, I mean, what the fuck are you going to do? But here's the funny thing. What I know, one of the things we did with Here's the Scenario is when the, like, probably like six months ago, we were, we were all at a point where we were just burnt out. We were just doing too much. We were recording an episode, then we were recording like two Patreon episodes. We had we have like three hundred hours of Patreon content on our on our Patreon, and we were just doing so much that we were so burnt out and really not having fun. Like I was like dreading coming here. <laughs> we were fighting and bickering all the time. It like wasn't fun. And then eventually, I was like, we should just stop doing the Patreon, which is. The antithesis of what you think, because you're like that's like direct money, super fans of, and well, uh, you know, we're like we'll still put the the regular episode up early on that, and mm-hmm. people have all the backlog, but like we're doing so much, no one could possibly keep up with all that content, and we're just burning ourselves out. And the right. second we stopped doing that, we had so much more fun, and like yeah, we like lost money, but it was like we immediately the product, the free product was way better because we were having way more fun and enjoying it more. So it's like oh that's. That's the thing. It's like, never forget that. Like, if that comes at the price of like, oh, I'm going to lose a few hundred bucks a month or whatever, it's like, but who cares? Now, but what's the point of that if all of the things are shitty, you know? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a hard decision to make. Yeah. You know, because, you know, the Patreon that, you know, I use to pay all these to make this stuff happen. Yeah. You know, I don't really... Ma- after taxes and after I pay these fuckers, I, I don't really make money. Right. You know what I mean? I'd probably lose a little money. <laughs> um, but, you know, I don't know. The Patreon fans, uh, I really like them because they're loyal. Sure. They show up to the live things. We still have a bunch of people on the Patreon yeah. that are like just like they're, it's just supporting it. and they're they're dead. They get the episode. <laughs> yeah, people just forgot. Dude, we have a, we have, we have a bunch of fans on the Patreon. What's going on here, Danny? Hang on, Danny. My phone died, Danny. Sorry. Did you text me? All right, well, don't text me unless it's important, Danny. Yeah, sorry. I mean, do, is this? I'm the... doing a show. <laughs> I'm literally, I said, I'll have my phone up here. If something you want to text me to ask or whatever, or something comes up, you can text me. And you put a group text so I see it. So these are these are these are people. I, these are people you want to pay this for. This is the last said. episode yeah. of Why. <laughs> there you go. Now you I'm got it. I'm done. If yeah. I quit this, dude. If I quit, You'd like be it, free. I know. You'd finally be free. I should. <laughs> I'm serious. It's one of those things. I should stop this podcast. Yeah. Now I'm going to get a bunch of hate from all of your Patreon and people will be like, "Why would you tell them to stop?" But I mean, I mean, really. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mean, I just don't know We're what to do. I just don't know. What, I don't know what to do with all this shit. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what I mean? You, that's hilarious. It's the only keep a podcast going because you're like, there's too much merch. I, have, I just I don't know. Too much, I have too much swag <laughs> yeah. from people. God forbid we get rid of this thing, huh? I mean, God, you know. I mean, yeah, I got that. I got the table. I got so much shit. <laughs> the table. Remember the old table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Where I'm, is that? What's going on with that? Fucking Liz stuck it somewhere. She probably burned it. Yeah. And then you ask her for it. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Liz gets violent. <laughs> <laughs> I, n- I never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> you and Liz, <laughs> dude, you oh, and Liz. It's been a ray of sunshine. For yeah. <laughs> um, well, can I tell you something about that? Sure. Listen, Mike. You, you look, I've known you for a long time. Yeah. You're a friend of mine. But you do have um, a professional, constantly showing up early for spots. Never miss that. The cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. That's one of my. That's one of my most charming characteristics. That's yeah. endearing. Yeah. The fat. Yeah. 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 You're an. You're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. almost like you're English, but you have an oh, American accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Sure, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Try, try doing, saying all that stuff with an English accent. It might come off less abrasive. I'm a little bit endearing, and... Uh... <laughs> Dude, you need to have an English accent. Yeah. You are more tolerable. <laughs> okay. You know, like, That's I'll be fair. Liz, uh-huh. you'll be English, English, sure. <laughs> Feeny, ready? Sure, I'll try. I can't really do accent. <sighs> Hello, Feeny. Hello, Liz. How are you doing? <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? <laughs> hey, dude! 
<laughs> you got to be English, dude. Yeah. And next time I see her, I'll talk in an accent, and then uh. she'll throw her shoe at me. Um, <laughs> she won't. Yeah, yeah. She actually was a big part of helping me with the, uh, you know, with making this special, by the way, which is like, you know, which... You know, I whether I whether she did it begrudgingly or not, she was, was a huge she was, was a huge yeah. help because she had to coordinate everything yeah. and do all that. So she was, uh, yeah, I have to thank her a lot for that because well, Esty loves you. I I love her. She's great. She paid my rent the last year and a half. You know, yeah. so so which is I mean, she loved you out of the gate, which was because of you though. Well, no, Esty doesn't uh, listen. Esty loves who she loves. You know what yeah. I mean. But you got me in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I finally did. It was sad because we got Cannon in. Yeah. <clears throat> and she was on the fence with him. Right. And But Cannon's so funny, dude. Yeah. He's the murderer. I mean, he should be in. And then we got Sagalo got in. Sure. And you were just sitting at the bar. Well, I had the, pre, the pre-COVID, on. we're going to get an audition soon. The tape has been submitted. Then the world ended. Yeah. And then, so it was kind of like a freeze. And then people started coming. Then they started doing auditions again. And then it was like... The, the the wall broke down and there were people streaming across the border. There were just like tens of comedians auditioning every week. And then, Bunch of trans. Yeah. yeah and then, right. Punching and then, other women in the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tripping them, you know. Yeah. And then uh yeah, and then and then it was crazy. Sagalo and I got in within a week of one another, which was great. But it was funny that the day Sagalo got in, you're like, you call me, you're like, All right, next week. <laughs> like you immediately were like Well, listen, dude. You can't have you can't have Sagalo and Cannon in, and and you're just sitting at the bar. I was like, you know, all right, let's make this happen. Yeah, I mean, listen, I feel like my story was a little bit longer to get in there than most, but it's like it was one of those things where had I maybe got in pre-pandemic or right before the pandemic, I might have been might have fallen through the cracks because yeah. it's like you know, also it's like you know, two years now funnier than I was then, but also like, yeah, if like you just got in and then everything ended, it's like, who knows? There's way less spots to go around. I might have, yeah, yeah. I might be out. So I so guess it all worked out. Yeah, you know? and SD loves you. Yeah, I think, well, I think that also helped because I was so emotionally over getting in there because she, because I did so much time. It'd been like three years. So I was like, oh, I'm just not going to work this club and it's fine. So I'll just move on. And then you called me out of the blue with this audition and I was like already like almost not like indignant or angry about it, but I'm just like, okay, like I'm going to go in there and do what I do. And then the way you should be. Yeah. Yeah. It's right. Dude. Anything I got, I didn't, when I got into the cellar, I was at the Boston. Right. I got rejected by all the other clubs. Right. And I didn't even know the cellar was, and my Matty Frost was like, dude, come over here. You got to do a set. He just said, you got to do a set. Right. I went over, I did a set. I walked off and I, I killed. Yeah. I didn't even know what the fuck. I didn't, I don't care. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Esty was there. She used to sit in the room. The whole show. Oh, that's a long. She used to, Friday and Saturday night. There was a chair by the door. Yeah, Esty there was still there is with a clipboard. That's Esty's <laughs> chair. Oh, the clipboard. She used to sit there with a clipboard Oof. and watch every fucking comic. She didn't start going upstairs until later. Yeah, but she was in the room, dude. That right. was, and then when you knew, like I didn't even know what it was. She was just nice to me out of the gate. Right. And who was it? Manny, the owner, didn't want yep. me. Manny was like, oh, no? Oh, he didn't think I was funny. She had a fight for me. Wow. He didn't want me. The fucking owner was yeah. like, I don't get it. Were you too blue? Were you blue? Were you very blue back yeah. then? Yeah. I was blue. Yeah. But then uh, a year later, Manny started watching me, and then he mm. came up to me. He was like, you know, I didn't really get you, but now I understand. You're very funny, kid. Right. Oh. Yeah. That was like nice. the, the nod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, getting Manny... Well, that was the thing, too. It's like you hear the lore. It's kind of like the Wizard of Oz thing, like the man behind the curtain where everyone's like, oh, you know, even when you if you do audition like Esty, don't expect like a like a pep talk. Once you get off stage, she's not going to be like, welcome to the cellar and you did great. And all she's just going to be like, send a veils and then that's it. And or she's not be very cold or she just leaves. And then you have to just kind of Meander. walk around yeah. and hope that she talks to you or get the hint and leave, you know. Um, but uh, mm-hmm. but it was the opposite of that. She was so nice and so warm and so friendly to me from the beginning that I was like, are we talking about the same? Are you the same Esty that I've heard? You know, no, you know? she's great. Yeah. Look, at like Patrice always said, uh, what's good for you is good. You know, some people yeah. love Lucian. Right. Some I, I thought he was a ghoul. <laughs> yeah, a fucking ghoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghoul. Him yeah. Dying fingers. You know? Um, yeah. It is what it is, you know? Um, but you're in. Yeah. And then you shot your special. 
Yeah, I tried what, to. Yeah, what are your special? Tell me about the special, though. So it's uh, it's called Mike Feeney, A Night at the Comedy Cellar. It comes out October 27th, so I think it's already out now. Maybe if you're on Patreon, it's going to come out in a few days. Where Please is go it? Go to my YouTube channel, you, you, youtube.com slash Mike Feeney Comedy. Now, how come you never didn't put it on punchup.live? Well, first off, I talked to I talked to people at, like, we talked to people at Netflix and uh, HBO and Hulu and stuff. The problem right now, which is just perfect timing and a story of my life is this whole strike thing that's happening it's like now with them only just now coming back to work for things it's like the line of like contracts that they had already been in negotiations with that everything kind of froze yeah is just resuming so they basically were like if you want to hold this for like another six or so months we can maybe discuss what could happen down the line it just it was this whole like kicking the can like we can't look at this now but you know, we'd love to at some point in the future. So it's just a matter of like, I just would rather, and this project specifically, so I, I wanted to do something different. I also think that for the most part, for the, at least people where I'm at in my career, the hour special is unnecessary and dead. Uh, like, I think if you're at a level where you have enough fans where they demand an hour for you mm -hmm. from you, that's great. Right. But like, no one needs so the uh, the person at Netflix told me the average watch time of an hour comedy special is twenty four minutes. I'm so sick of these far. Yeah, on your network because your your specials stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. But it also is like yeah, you got the the chick and her dog comes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm out after <laughs> yeah, twenty minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, stop doing analytics on shitty comics. Sure. Yeah. Do do analytics on Chappelle, Louis, right, Billy. Yeah. Hour. But those are also the people that you want to see those are the people an hour from. You know what I mean? Where it's like... I know, the but these, these analytics, they keep, they keep trying to figure out... They keep trying to figure out the way to do comedy. Right. We already did it. The funny motherfuckers... Right. Get a special. Yeah. And the unfunny people don't. Right. But the networks keep giving... Because they want to be inclusive. Sure. They keep giving all these people, and they keep trying to find a different avenue of funny. Because they're sick of it. They're sick of stand-up. Yeah. They don't understand that stand-up is not for them. Stand-up is for the people. And by the way, there is an inclusive... There, If you want to be inclusive, there are hilarious comedians of every color, shape, size, and creed, but you're choosing the ones who are fucking job. 23 years old and five years in. Listen... Corporate fucking. <laughs> hello, <thing>. hello. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. say that Pony with a. Phoenix. Can you say that with an uh, English? People of all shapes and colors, all sides of the rainbow, orientation, creed, whatnot, what have you. I'll just to be the new Russell Brand. Dude, you <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. If I could talk with his, uh, with his dictionary, with his language ability, that would yeah. be great. Just fucking unbutton, rip your shirt down the middle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just throw a whole yeah, there out. Get so, get a bunch of necklaces from. <laughs> and why are people? You know, he's more that. This uh, bracelet from a foot. Yeah, see, if I had this bracelet, I mean, all those bracelets on. That My would love made this for me when I ate it. Coochie and her asshole in Bangladesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I wanted to come up with something that was a little original because right now, especially, it feels like there's so many comedians. It feels like like we, we were talking on the phone. There's a special every week now, buddy. I have people calling me to be on the show. Yeah. Hey, can I? And I'm like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, I want to be promoter specials until my special comes out. Yeah, it's a it's revolving so, door. It, it's so crazy how many people because it costs so little to make your own special. And you can edit it, and everything can be done right on a computer now with a very small budget and a very small crew. Yeah, so I wanted to come up with something that differentiated me from just the rest of, like, straight on camera, and then one little side shot, and then just here's me on this stage for an hour. So I figured... I hadn't seen this done of like the four rooms of the Comedy Cellar, the Fat Black Pussycat Lounge, the Bar, Village Underground, and Comedy Cellar. Bunch, oh, I mean, dozens of comedy specials. Yours include have been shot at the Village Underground. First Bunch one. have been shot at first one. First one ever. First comedy special shot at the Cellar. Yes. And then McDougal Street, and then well, so I'm the first ton, one to yeah, shoot at the Village special. Underground. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and so. everybody followed again. Yeah, like podcasting. Walked so we could run. I mean, dude. Yeah, I'm the mother. So I was trying to find my own walk so we could run. So I know people have done success with like going to bouncing around other clubs in the city and kind of there's almost as like documentary style. So I was yeah. like, I just want to showcase what it's like working at the Comedy Cellar, the greatest club in the world in terms of like 80 shows a week. Everyone is sold out. That's it's crazy. Unbelievable, especially for you who's worked here when it was empty, you know, and when you guys would have to sit in the audience to make it look full, you know, yeah. or the wait staff or whatever. Yeah. And so it's like, so now they do 80 shows a week, and I wanted to capture at least this moment in time as a comedian who's working these four rooms. So I did all four rooms of the cellar in one night, and I don't think anybody's ever shot anything in the in either of the Fat Black. The bar is brand is new. 
comparatively. So oh. it's like, so I, I, and I pitched this to multiple production companies and all of them were like, can't be done, impossible to shoot. None of it will match. Uh, it's gonna one one company quoted me at two hundred thousand dollars to shoot it. Uh, I mean, it's just can like. I, can I please? Do I know this company? Yeah, for sure you do. I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah absolutely it, you do. It, well, don't worry about it. Let's not get into names. I, really but, quick though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How close do I know them? I don't know, but I know you do know them for sure. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know how close you are with them. Two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To like, to like, shoot it the way you know. And they had like an elaborate. But I'm like, here's the thing. I was like, you're not because they're like, it's not going to match and all this other stuff. And I'm trying to explain to them like, I had this vision. And I came up with this idea, la- April of 2022. And this was like this concept where I'm like, I want to do it in these four rooms. They could just show highlights from each of it and just make that and make it like a short, tight, fun thing and just fucking jokes, you know and. And again, no one wa- no one wanted to do it. They were, or they did for a, an exorbitant price. And they were still like, they didn't believe in it. I had so many conference calls with people. So then I just got to the point where I'm like, fuck it. Like everything else, I'll just do it myself. So I got together like a skeleton crew of just like a dream team of people where I got James Webb was my uh, DP, who's the one who. You got James Webb? Yeah, who shot. <laughs> so fun. Uh, but he shot. Hello, you got James Webb. I got James Webb, I did. Oh, uh, boy. He, he shot. Uh, Norman's Netflix special, Sam Marill's Netflix special, he shot a bunch, a million things. And he just, when I pitched it to him, everybody else that I pitched it to was like, yeah, I mean, that seems like a lot of fucking work, but I guess we could try to do it and I'd, we'd have to even think. He immediately was like, fuck yes, dude. I love that. Let's try and do it. He's like, it's going to be hard as shit. And to this day, he's like, it's the hardest special I've ever shot in my right. life. He's like, but let's do it. I got uh, I got Nicole Lyons, my podcast producer, to be the one of the camera operators. I got Toby McMullen from Are You Garbage to be my other camera operator. Great. Just friends taking out fa- favors, them helping me out. We had, and we did it. Again, in, in in just on like a Tuesday night, so we had it was during the showcase show. So it's not like a thing. First off, none of the audience were there for me. So it's like there's that element of like I'm having to win over these crowds. I'm a stranger to them. Yeah, which is different from a comedy special where you're selling tickets. So at least you have at least half or more of that are your fans that are there or whatever. So there's nobody knows who I am in this in, in any of these audiences. I'm also doing. A showcase set. I'm doing the 15 minute set. So there's these are just a normal night at the cellar, you know, five comics on each show. So it's I, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. That's what I did. And I ended up taking, well, I'll get to that. But so I, so I was like, I, but because of that, because it was a regular showcase show and I'm working with Liz and doing this, she was like, I don't want to, I don't want you to like, mess anything up like lighting wise or anything that will distract the other comics when they go on stage and like even if it mentally fucks them up for a second being like why does it look different in here you know what I mean it takes you out of it which is like I respected so we added zero lights to this which again made it more difficult we had we'd like Got rid of, I think, like one seat in each room. So we were very narrowly. We basically shot, shot, set up in a room. I did my set, and then we broke everything down, ran to the next room, and then did that around the cellar. So, um, so you shot everything in one night. Shot everything. We did. Well, how we many, how many two nights? We did two nights. So we did a total of of well, we, and the bar only had one show on Wednesday. So we did seven sets. I had right. to run around. I was laughing because I, I know Liz's temperament on the second night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot less excited, you know. But we had so many. Hello, Liz. Yeah. Back for another one, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roundabout we go, and yeah. one more round the horn. And... Round two. <laughs> yeah, a spot of tea, maybe. This episode is brought to you by Ghostbed. To be the funniest person in the room, you got to make sure you're well rested. It's hard to come up with good jokes when you are sleep deprived. So if you're not sleeping well. It's time to grab a new mattress from Ghostbed. Take advantage of free and fast shipping, their 101 night mattress sleep trial, and financing starting at $35 a month. You heard me. You can get a brand new mattress for as low as $35 a month. Listeners get 40% off all products site wide. You can get 40% off mattresses, adjustable bases, and bedding accessories, or get 50% off when you bundle a mattress and an adjustable base. Use promo code YKWD at ghostbed.com slash YKWD for 40% off site-wide 
limited time only. So we had to we had to try to run around doing all that. And it was like there was and I decided, you know, I wanted to direct this because I love I've always wanted to like direct stuff. So I'm like, I want to try and maybe I can direct like I would love to direct like other people's specials at some point in my life. So I had some ideas for like some cool shots I wanted to get. And just like I really had a very clear vision of how I wanted to do it. So I also did but did all this, by the way, when Leo, my kid, was 10 weeks old. So I'm on like new dad, no sleep, yeah. newborn. I have like I mean, what I see when I watch it is like deep purple bags under my eyes from being on no sleep and the stress of doing it and the stress of coordinating it and doing it with Liz and trying to figure out if this can actually be shot. You know what I mean? It's funny it's you say no sleep because me and you are like in the same type of uh, social uh, construct. Right. I have other people. I have friends of mine. Another friend of mine is having a baby and the other people just had a baby. And they were like, you got to get the, the night nurse. Oh. Like the first couple of weeks, and I and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, must be nice to have unlimited money. I mean, dude, it's just so funny to hear people, dude. You got to do it. Yeah, it's like wow. Like, I remember the first month, first four waking months. up in the like, I was like, "Please let my t my tits work." Yeah, please, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, yeah. God, let my wife's tits work because if her tits work, I get to sleep. Sure, because I don't have to, I don't have. She's gonna suck on that. You gotta wake up every three hours, feed that but you're baby. You're still up tip. anyway because it's like the screaming. You're up every hour. Then you're you're not only getting. I wouldn't be less. My, if my wife's and they didn't work, by the way. If her tits worked, I remember. I remember one night her crying. Yeah. With her big fake tits, uh -huh. and I had things on both of them, and I'm just holding her tits, praying. God, let milk come out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just a drip. Uh, yeah. Drip. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. And I had to go get formula in the middle of the night in Times Square. Heat come it back. Up. Oh, yeah, I had yeah, a, yeah. every night. It was like every, I, she would do one and then I would do one. Sure, yeah. It's the, your turn. You know what I mean? You, and you have to heat it and then test it's it. It's brutal, dude. It's all but, but, brutal. Best thing in the world. It's one of those. Sitting there with your baby. Yeah. When and when they get, and when they get going, and then they, you look up and you see the, these eyes. Yeah. When they're looking at you going, who the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. And they're like, I can't even fully see you yet. You're just like a shape yeah. blob. Um, I don't so know why you would want to give that to some Haitian lady. Because it's hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? Why? why because would you... it's hard work and it's yeah. easier to yeah. just do this. Yeah, you know? dude, I get it. But... And I was the biggest baby ever with sleep. I am like, before having this kid, I'm like, if I don't get, if I get seven hours of sleep, I'm like a cranky a prick English for the man. entire day. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. I need mozzies. And uh, so, but I, but this was like such a different experience yeah. where it was like, yeah, those first four months, it was a war. It was hell. It was, un Eric and I, Regularly, we're like, we made a terrible, terrible <laughs> mistake having this kid. It was a night like this is we have. Fucked you said up that out loud many times, hundreds what? of times, baby. Uh, and like with like Dude. tears in our eyes, being like, can we give it back? Like we made like <laughs> awful. Um, we're like, what's the adoption list look like? And then, <laughs> what the? But fuck? then the second, the second, like you know, four months at the second he started sleeping through the night when he starts smiling when he starts looking at you. Then now it's like he's going to be a year in two weeks. And it's like, now I'm like, this is the fuck. I, it's hard to even leave him to come here, you know? Like, so it's, it's the best. But, um, so yeah. going back to that, I'm, I'm on 10 weeks, I'm, te oh, um, you know, not even two month old at home, screaming, crying, trying to get all this logistics. So there's all that going on. So I'm deciding I'm directing it. And then, mm -hmm. uh, I got the wild hair up my ass of being like, that's not enough to already have this concept and shoot this and direct this. I'm going to edit this myself because uh. <laughs> because I don't already have enough on my plate. You're so I decided idiot. I directed it, I edited it, and I got it, and I produced it. I made it happen, and it's like, thank God for the, you know, James and Nicole and Toby for, like, being there with me to do it. But the edit took so long because it's like I had to go through all these sets. And then when I was watching that, that's when I started realizing I was like, you know, maybe I'll make this an hour. Maybe I'll make this 45 minutes. And the more I'm looking at it, I was like, again, that thing of, like, I don't think anybody needs an hour from me. I saw people like Stavros and Akash Singh and a bunch of people putting out these shorter specials that were doing really well. And I and I just felt a little fatigue. I feel like there's a fatigue with stand up right now with like a lot of long form stuff. So I'm like, and this TikTokification of the fucking world. So I'm like, I edited this thing down to just literally getting rid of all of the fat. And I was, it's fucking. It was originally 25 minutes, and then uh, I was talking with Ari because I had some like I didn't have any conversations in between there's no documentary style it does show me like going to other rooms and like laughing with comics but there's not that's just like 
that doesn't even have sound. There's like music playing. It's just kind of B-roll kind of stuff. And then I decided, I was talking to Ari about it, and he was like, just trim that even more and just like get rid of any ounce of fat on it. So now it's like almost exactly 20 minutes. It's like 20, it's just under 21 minutes. And it is just, I, I can say this as a person who, as you know, when you have to watch your own stuff back, you just want to yeah. kill yourself. And so Dude, I, think- I, I probably would have, I probably should have watched my special 10 more times. Yeah. And made 10 more rounds of edit. I just can't do it. It's awful. It's I, the, it's worst, the thing worst in the world. And especially as you get old, as like, you know, as the months have progressed, I shot this last January. I shot this in January. So it's like, as this has progressed, I'm like, oh God, this joke is so much better now. I should have said this oh. thing. I should have said this. And I'm I'm the only one responsible for it. So it's like I had to like kick my own ass to get in gear. And then the problems that came with it, the technical problems of like the first night, all of the footage, all of the sound in the cellar got corrupted. So that sets out. The second night, uh, you know, the village underground lighting didn't match. So I can't even use that set. So it's like it was all of these little like technical issues that I had to like work around in addition to all of the things with it. So I got it down. It is it is uh, it is a fast 20 minutes. And I'm saying this as a person who now, again, watching our own stuff, I can watch it. And by the end of it, not want to kill myself. Can I just say something? Yeah. You don't have to use the expression, it's a fast 20 minutes. 20 minutes is fast. It's fast. Yeah, you, but no, but you've, <laughs> I've seen... It's a fast two hours. I've seen... I've it's seen, a fast hour and a half. I've seen things that are 20 minutes that feel like an hour. You With know what I mean? Like Sa- Sagalow's, uh, <laughs> Sagalow set? Yeah, no. I've, I'm able to watch this without wanting to kill myself, I guess is the point of that. But yeah. uh, so it's, it is just... It's fucking now, are you dope. Are you just putting it out there? I'm putting it out. I'm YouTube. doing. I'm uh, putting it out on YouTube. I just want it. I'd rather because again, I was like the only people that I would be interested in is having it again because it's like it was like a Netflix or like an HBO or something like that because of the prestige that comes with that and also the audience that it gives. But like, I don't. I want to. I want to tell you something right now. You should look into Punch Up Dot Live. I might do that. Here's why. Yeah. Here's why. You're gonna put it on YouTube, like every fucking asshole. Yeah. Ari, Big J. Yeah. Not that they're assholes. I love those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, everybody. High and low. Right. And putting the thing on YouTube. Right. Punch and you, you're getting nothing for it. You're just working for YouTube. You're creating content for yeah. YouTube to get advertisers to make money, right? Well, no, for me, that's not even why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to build... let me finish though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Punch up dot live. Yeah. You get those emails. Yeah. You get those emails and you get to go and see I'm I got a lot of people bought it here, here, here. I'm gonna book shows there and I'm sending emails out. Hey, and you get to, you don't get that with Instagram. You don't get that with Facebook. You don't right. get that with YouTube. You get the data that you get to use for your own career. And I think that's, I mean, I also, because I, I talked to Steve Byrne about that, and I think that's like, I, I finally like a resource for comedians that's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what I'm saying, though. Like, with this project, like, I am, it is such my baby, and it is such my, because even I had talked to other people about being like, about other companies being like, why don't you put it on our YouTube channel? We put a ton of specials out, and then that way you'll Ooh. get a lot of audience, a bunch of them, like multiple, multiple. You don't companies. name names, do you? I don't name names. All Come right, on. Uh, I'll tell you off there. Uh, but why uh, don't you name names? Because I'm not going with them. Uh, you know, <laughs> now I'm doing the diversity. Because I'm not fucking going. Because I'm not driving traffic to somebody else's channel on their YouTube thing to build up their thing. Right. I want this project specifically has been a labor of love. It's been a thing I've been working on for over a year. You I, should do both. I want it on my channel. You should do both. And I want to drive people to my channel and I want people to see it. And I'd much rather have people watch this special and go, fuck, why was that so quick? Why isn't this an hour? Why is it longer than me put out an hour and then people be like, oh, I'm going to get to the other half. Because when you click on a video, dude, especially on YouTube, if you click on a video and it says an hour, yeah. you're like, all right, I got to fucking commit to this. Unless, unless you're old. And then, the, like me, yeah. I'm like, good. I get I get my money's worth. Yeah, when I, I guess. see when I see a minute, I'm like fucking. Yeah, but if you see twenty, you're like, even if you're busy, you're like, all right, I'll start it, and then all of a sudden it's over. Yeah, you know? so I, I'm get, like, I, I hear you, but it's, and it's I such and a... now I still have the other forty minutes from that hour. You know what it is? It's hard for me because I'm from a different. I'm, betw- I'm between two eras. I know you're a different era. I'm between two eras. Well, I'm actually part of this new one too because I'm still here. Yes, asshole. of course. But I'm saying like <laughs> I was started in the. I need to get on. I need to get on TV. 
and then that way I could get famous, and then that way I could do stand up. And now, and you know what I mean? I need to get on the Tonight Show, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Like those are things that I tried to. That was right. like the whole goal: do an hour special. But it's like that was only it was an hour special because it it's hard. It's hard for me. I don't know. Maybe it's hard for you too. Yeah. To let go of that thing. Of course. Of, that's all you knew. That's what we yeah. chased for. You chased yeah. for thirty years. You've been chasing Man, that. So maybe like, this is the new thing. But here's the thing. Here's the way I look at it. If I put out an hour, it's going to take me at least two years to come up with another strong hour before I'm willing to like record that. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> as prolific as Louis to be able to be putting out an hour every single year. You know. So it's like I. It's going to take me a while. And then also I have. No jokes to put out in between that time besides like crowd work clips, you know, which is the bane of everybody's existence, but it's something. Yeah. So it's like, I like the idea of me putting this out. This is 20 minutes. People can watch it. They like it. And then in next year, I could put out another 20 minutes or six months from now, I could put out another. I can keep putting out. I'm stretching out that hour over three. I'm putting out three specials instead of one, essentially. Look, man, here's my my thing that I'm I'm coming to grips with. If if you If it, if it works for you, do it. If it's working for you, I, I'm done. We'll see if it works. I'm, Please go I, watch I, the I, special, and then it'll work are, for people me. People are on me like, dude, look what he's doing. Fuck. It's like, dude, I, I don't know anymore. It's not yeah. the way it was. It used to be you you, you went to New York, you got into the club. Sure. A manager saw you. Then they got you an agent. You went to JFL. I still don't have an you agent. You got an hour. Yeah. You did it, you know, all that shit. It's, not, it's like guys are making it on their own. Yeah. You know, Nick Mullen makes fucking eight hundred thousand yeah. dollars a year. Yeah, yeah. Just oh, being more Nick. Than that. For sure, more no, than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well he yeah. said he said eight hundred oh, on a podcast. It's, it's, it's humble. Yeah. Uh I just I feel how do you like know he makes more. I mean he used they used to make so much money with their I know, but how do you know what the, well he said I make eight hundred thousand dollars a year and you're saying I know it's more than that. Yeah, I'm his tax guy. Oh, I yeah, didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. If you did that with an English <laughs> accent, it wouldn't I'm have bothered his, me. I'm his tax man. Yeah, just, yeah, no, yeah. Say, I'm gonna say eight hundred. Oh, he makes, he makes, okay, yeah. uh, he makes eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, he makes precipitously more than that. <laughs> Dude, you got to start talking with an English accent. I know. I don't even so, feel like it's a good English accent, but it works. It doesn't you know? matter. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, light yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's the thing where I'm like, I just rather I like this is like I wanted to also say I directed and edited my own special. There's like the only people I've ever comedians I've ever known to do that. It's like Louis obviously is the most obvious example, but yeah. like. Bo Burnham. Yeah, dude. I can't think of anybody you else. You got guys who did it on a very high level. Yeah. And now you're doing it on a very low level. Oh, that feels like an unnecessary shot, but all Hang right. Hang on one yeah. second. You do it, they <laughs> did it on a very high level. Yeah. And you do it on a, a different level. Oh, that doesn't hurt nearly as bad. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's a compliment almost now. You do it on the level yeah. of mud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want, uh, yeah, I want people to be able to, I want to be able to say that I've like, it was just a cool, I'll probably never edit my own special ever again, oh, but uh, the worst. to at least say that. That I did this, you know, which is the funny part too, because like, you know, it's just kind of we think when the stand up special, you think when you put out a stand up special, yeah. you're like, eh, if they don't like it, it's fucking, it's all my fucking fault. But when you edit it and you direct it, if they and you come up with a concept, if they don't like it, I have no one to blame. No. But it is you. all on me. So, so I'm. Um, when does it come out again? What October twenty seventh. All right, so. October twenty seventh. It's probably already out. Yes. Go check it out. Where is it at? Uh, YouTube.com slash Mike Feeney Comedy. I assume the link is hopefully in the description. Uh, yeah, everything's going to be in the description. Watch you just it click on it. And share it. Please share it. Share it. And this is how... I took a bath we, on this. Did you really? Of course. I, I produced it. I spent... I paid all the money. I had to pay to get it colored. I had to pay to a sound mixer. I had every single expense. Boy, oh boy. It just adds up. Especially <laughs> when you got a kid. So I don't need... I, you don't need to pay me any money. If you'd love to come see me on the road, that would be great. Uh, but Are uh, you going to charge? Are you going to put a thing on the YouTube? No, free. Just here's what I'm charging. Here's what I... Here's my currency. You, you giving it a like on YouTube, that's like tipping me a dollar. You leaving a comment, that's like five bucks. You sharing it with your with one friend, that's like 50 bucks. You sharing it in your group chat, that's like giving me a hundred dollars. So just do that for me and, it, and just pay it forward. Share it with as many people as you can. The more people see it, the more people want to see the next one and then I can just keep doing that. Um, and you should definitely put it on punchup.live. And that's something. For your road. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah. Because people are saying, oh, you get all these people showing up at your thing from YouTube. Yeah. Own them. Get the data. Get it their must email. Own you. Yeah, Every get one the email. They want you to have their email. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're giving it to fucking Best Buy and they're selling it to China. Yeah. You might as well have it <laughs> so you can sell out in Rhode Island. Yeah. You know? Um, we got a game for you to play. Oh, okay. Uh, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, Max. Yeah, we have a quiz. I, we have a quiz. A quiz. Okay. Yes. 
All right, so uh, the first question is, uh, what is your age? Uh, 18, under 18, 18 to 24, 25, 30, 31. Now, what do I look? Or where do I play? What, do you, what, 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 are, you? what are you? <laughs> you know, I'd be 18, 24. But uh, no, I'm 35. All right. Uh, what is your gender? Man. Are you kidding? Yeah, so well, I mean, you do you do look fancy. unspecified, <laughs> and I'm fine with that. You're a, um, you're a male. He's a male, even though he has the skin of a female. Yeah, <laughs> what's, your fa- what's your favorite color? Green, red, yellow, blue, purple, or orange? Blue. Is this a sociopath test? Is that just, what we're doing? Just, just <laughs> okay. uh, what's your favorite color? Blue. All right. Uh, Israel is good question mark. Oh, come yes, on. No. Are Israel, you kidding? We're sliding. Relax. Is- relax. <laughs> just answer the question. Just chill out. Yes, yes, th- the yes, question no. was Israel is good question mark? Yes, no. Israel is great. Israel is evil. Those are the options. Wait, there's yes or no, and then there's other shades of that? Yeah, and then it's just great go. or evil. I mean, that's you Answer can't, the question. There is no way to answer a- that ask correctly. Ask the question again. Do is, it in an English accent. Israel good? <laughs> question mark. Is you- yes, no, Israel is great, Israel is evil. Which one? The people the people of Israel, yes, are great. Uh, I think are they- good. Uh, okay. Palestine is good question mark. <laughs> yes, no. The people uh, of Palestine. <laughs> the people of Palestine are good. Okay, there you go. Should Arab- Hamas is not. Should Arabs leave the Holy Land? Yes or no? I don't <laughs> know the answer to this. I'm Irish and from Long Island. Just answer the question. <laughs> I've, I've to- I've- Should they leave the Holy Land or no? Who? The, the Arabs. Arabs. Is that the Palestinians? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Don't record this. What are you doing? We have, we have three Get cameras. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think <laughs> that if you if you really deconstruct what's going on over there, um, you'll find that there's a lot of nuance. And, uh, you know, there's, there's passion on both sides. And with passion, of course, is going to come conflict. And... I believe that in a world in which we all get together and, and talk Cho- about and children things, are our future. Yeah, and children are the future. We should save the whales, save the planet. Teach them well and, and help um, them lead the way. Yeah, whatever leads to the least amount of murder as possible. Because what I'm seeing now, by the way, just on a side note, mm-hmm. Musk, whatever that guy's doing on Twitter, where he basically has a GoPro strapped to every soldier, both Israeli and Palestinian. It's like I open Twitter in the morning and I'm just immediately an onslaught of like beheadings and dead bodies and it's like i don't even follow the accounts that they're showing it to me for they're like you're gonna see this yeah it's pretty wild it's brutal it's wild what's the next question all right well i'm gonna say that he said uh no they shouldn't leave Uh, the next one is should jews leave the holy land no (laughs) okay there you go i don't uh, know israeli israel's are the uh is the aggressor yes or no I think Hamas was the aggressor this time, wasn't okay, it? Okay, I think that's, that's what so, we'd uh, agree. Palestinians are the aggressors? Yes. No, Hamas is the aggressor, which I guess technically represent Palestine, but the Palestinian people don't seem to be... I will say yes. Uh, okay. I like to relax, and nothing bothers me much. True or false? False. Everything bothers me. This quiz is annoying. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> this is top of the list. Um, Israel is a safe country to visit. Yes, <laughs> true or false? I, overall, true, yeah. Uh-huh. Right now, I probably wouldn't book a point, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't even get in? No. <laughs> That's how much I know about what's going on. You can't fly. I thought it'd be a good time. Like, well, you know when you used to go to... Uh, during during COVID, if you bought, like, tickets to China, you go... It was, like, $400 to fly there first class, stay for three weeks. They they show you everything. It was like, a, what a hell of a deal, you yeah. know? Yeah, so you're flying to Israel right Into now. a war zone. <laughs> you have to fly in a C-130 to have... Yeah, yeah. coming in the missile, Hamas missile. Yeah, there's people just gunning from the... Chopper, yeah. Well, Please put your tray tables yeah. back to the upright <laughs> yeah. position. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I just have, uh, I have a lot of, I know a lot of Israeli people personally, you know. So yeah. it's like that's, I see their, I see their, my my cousin, both of my cousins are married to people from Israel and stuff. I mean, obviously, it's like okay. you know, it's like everybody, so many comics that we know with are, are Jewish okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Next question. Uh, children should be taught to hate and destroy their enemies. No. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, children should be taught to love and forgive enemies. Sure. <laughs> Pussy. Go. <laughs> it's not American. Uh, Israel is... We, we're, we're friends with Japan <laughs> and Germany. Yeah, we fucking bombed them. And now we 
forgave them. No, well, they forgave us. They forgave us. Sorry, dude. They forgave us. We dropped two nukes on Japan. There's a documentary every day about Japan. I'm like, they didn't need to drop the bomb on us. We were just about to give up. And they're like, they weren't. You Not see that. that story about that guy who was in the Philippines in the jungle and yeah. they got him. They had to go get his retired like captain or lieutenant or corporal or something. They had to, that guy was like working an accounting job and they right. got him and brought him to the jungles of Malaysia because he didn't believe that the war was over. It was 1975 <laughs> and they got the this guy who had been fighting in the jungle since World War II and he did not he had no idea. That guy? That guy right there. Yeah. In Japan. Yep. He had no idea it was over. No, he didn't. They tried to tell him years and years and years. And this happened. There's multiple stories of this all throughout the 50s and stuff. But this guy was into the 70s. He killed 30 people in Malaysia. Like, as, like, anybody that tried to go. To, they showed him newspapers. They showed him everything. He thought, he was like, it is, it is. Propaganda. It, it is propaganda. <laughs> because the, t the sentiment at the time in Japan was like, there is no such thing as surrender. You die or, and he was like, so he was, his whole rationale was like, if you're telling me that Japan lost this war, then there is no more Japan because yeah. that's the only way we would lose this war is right. if we were every single one of us were killed. So yeah. you being here tells me it's not over and it, this is a trap. And then he just kept killing people. Wow. So you're like, that's a level of fucking patriotism and nationalism that's like indoctrinated into a core set of beliefs. So, okay. So, yeah, you think kids should never forgive. Go ahead. No, I didn't. Uh, Israel is forever. Yes or no. What does that mean? Just yes or no. <laughs> well, it always exists. Will it always exist? Yeah, Israel forever. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. Right, so Does anything good? ever exist forever, though? Watching a comic be uncomfortable <laughs> with real life questions. Yeah, we know this isn't our thing. I okay. don't read. What's the next question? Uh, <laughs> Palestine will win in the end. I, I mean, probably not. To be honest, I mean they are <laughs> drastically outnumbered. And getting killed at a crazy clip. Okay, go ahead. Next one. I like the USA. Yes, no, it's okay. Yes. I like Britain. Yes, no, it's okay. Yeah, fine. It's okay. It's okay. You don't like it's Britain. All right. It's all right, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's, bit, it's a bit muddy. <laughs> everyone in the world should be Muslim? No. <laughs> God, no. no. <laughs> That's the clip. It's just that much. Oh. You heard it here. Yeah. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Irish in you came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. I got it. I, uh, I support freedom of speech. Yes. Uh, women are equal to men. Yes. Wait a minute. Not in I, terms I, of I, physical strength <laughs> or like, you know, cognitive ability, but <laughs> voting wise, absolutely. We're equals now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can't pick up five bags of groceries yeah, on one yeah, finger. Yeah, but they can use my car to buy them, you know? <laughs> Right. <laughs> I am heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual. No, stop before you answer that. Ask that again. I am heterosexual, homosexual, or bisexual. I know the one that would be good for my career to say. <laughs> Either of the other ones, but unfortunately heterosexual, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, my favorite animal out of the following is cat, dog, tiger, lion, camel, donkey. Wait, say it again and not... I thought you said you said things together like hyphenated. I thought you said talking about cat dog the cartoon. What did you no. say? My favorite animal out animal. of the following is a cat or dog or tiger, lion or a camel or donkey. Man, I love a lot of those things. I love a lion. Um, I love, I love a cat, but I mean, dog is the one I interact with on a daily basis, and they're the most fun. So I'm going with dog. Okay, right. good. I am a good person. Yes, no, no one is good. We are, we are all good and bad. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I think uh, I think people are inherently good, and then you know, really? nature nature all corrupts. Every single time I see people now who are like broken people or mean people and stuff like that, don't you kind of feel like as uh, maybe there's a thing of getting older, and that's why I'm asking you this. Do you ever feel like you're just like? Do you ever feel like you that's see? Hurt. No, I'm saying yeah. As a person significantly older, do you ever find that like when you see people who are just like pieces of shit or just like assholes do you I, I went from being like fuck that guy when i was younger to being like oh man i feel bad for that guy you know what yeah. I mean? like it's it's like a there's like a, not a pity but there's a thing of like oh man so, so many people hurt you and you've gone so far like if you just had more love in your life when you were younger it all would have been so different for you oh yeah people like that now is kind of sad it definitely gets sad it's so well because sad. you know your time and the once you have a kid and a wife and you have a life time and who you spent and how you act in that time and how you spend that time means so much more because time has a value. Yeah. Those people, they have no clue. 
It's, and there's no way out no. except a vicious bottom. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vicious bottom. That yeah. used to be my nickname. Um, <laughs> Are you sure you're heterosexual? <laughs> yeah. That would have been, you know, gonna, yes, vicious it. bottom. You just wrote it. <laughs> yeah. 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 like, vicious. <laughs> yeah. Slow down. I can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm too vicious. I'm the vicious yeah. bottom. I do You'd think. You'd be great in gay porn. I don't know if I would. I feel like I'd be good in like MILF porn. No, like, you'd I'm be like good. The, the, where there were like a, a stepson. I'm gonna get your roller like skates that. and a headband. Yeah, okay. you come up and that's your name, vicious. I'm too bottom. bony. I feel like. Nah, that. not on TV. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not in, not in gay pounds. porn. Yeah. I will. Right, what else you got? Hold on. I have more things. Oh, to, you have more, uh, more theories. Um, <laughs> oh, go ahead. I was thinking about this, which probably is 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 probably wrong. But I going off the thing of like pitying people as they just get so warped or whatever. What about this idea? What about the idea that? Like hardcore conspiracy theorists, like let's take the people who like don't believe Sandy Hook didn't ha- like they, they they don't think it happened, right? Yeah, These, sure. the, the lunatics in our society that are like that was a stage thing. Those are uh, crisis actors. None of that was real. Yeah. What if instead of believing what I believe, you know, normally, which is being like these people are mentally ill, mm-hmm. insane lunatics, being like maybe those people are so incapable of processing the horrific trauma of what happened there, Mm -hmm. that it's literally easier for them to believe that that wasn't real, that didn't happen. No, 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 that's crisis actors. I can't, there's no way people murdered children. That's not real. Then it is for them to accept the reality of something so horrific and evil happening in this world. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Um, We didn't land on the moon. The earth is flat. (laughs) And you're a fucking weirdo. (laughs) No. Um, Maybe, dude. I don't know. I mean... I un- I can see if you watch if you listen to those people yeah you can see their e- their evidence right what they consider evidence why you would they would go down that route any conspiracy I can follow down that tube yeah but then there's reality right I think that reality but why follow the conspiracy? That's well, the because thing. because it does something for them. It gives them uh, cope purpose. It, cope. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe it copes. But may. But also, I think that these people think once you believe one, you can believe them all. Right. Once you go the world, the, and that's the problem with yeah. conspiracy theories. No one but is ever some like of them, I only believe the nine eleven one, and that's it. But here's the thing: is some of them some are of them, fishy. Some of them are real. Some of yeah. them could be. Sure. Some of them have validity. Sure. So it's like, you know what I mean? Hey, I never saw any evidence of any plane hitting the Pentagon, huh? <laughs> Where are the wings? Yeah. Anyway. I, it is, It look, it. it's crazy. Because, first of all, too, the amount of stuff we can do, the average asshole on a phone yeah. is nuts now, too. So Editing capabilities are unbelievable. Dude, I just downloaded Caption. You can literally read off to the right. It will change your eyes to the camera. Right, you can hit a button and it makes your eyes look at the camera when you're reading over to the right, and it can take your voice and put it in Italian, Spanish, Chinese, whatever, in your voice with right. AI, and it will do the captions in that language. I had no. I don't. It's dude, we're about to enter, and here's the, the 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 sad part of it all. Technology is about to get crazy and awesome for us. And then Russia is going to do an EMP bomb over space, yeah. and we're going to be without electricity for a year, and the, only the strong will survive. Well, that's the new war, right? It's not it's not hand to hand combat, which is what's Let, going on the Israel and Palestine, right? It's like this is going to be the future war of technology of like once if they do that, right? Like if we lose all internet, if all the internet goes out in America and all the banks crash and no one can access their financial right, like. They don't have to worry about coming over here and bombing us and shooting us. We will all kill each other. It will turn it. It's like when when there's a blackout, there's riots. You know what I mean? There's there looting. Bla- when there was a blackout in 2006, I think it was, uh, New York City was, you know, the only ones that were okay? Homeless people. Mm-hmm. They were fine. Yeah. The, every, everybody else was fucked. And that was a day. Yeah. Now you imagine. Go, you go a year. This place will be rubble. Planes are going to drop out of the sky. You're going to lose hundreds of thousands of people. People couldn't fly. There's 5,000 people flying over this country every day. Yeah. 5,000 planes. Yeah, yeah. You drop one of those bombs and those and that plane just goes gush. Yeah. Well, even even the ones that didn't go, the point the the pilots they can't fly without the auto navigation and all that. They, Dude, they, we're they, not they're, even they're talking not about out we're not talking about taking out electricity. We're talking about a bomb that just wipes out all electronics. Yeah. So the planes just fall out of the sky. 
the water stops going because it works on pumps. Um, there's no more food because it all goes bad. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's no more light at night. You, I mean, so it's, it's gonna get hairy. It's gonna get hairy. But yeah. I have a tiny house and I have a well. Oh, okay. So it ain't gonna get hairy for me. Nice. And I'm going up and I'm oh, buying some guns. Oh, just I was gonna say, just I did. I was just looking into how to get a gun. Um, but I was, I was. Th- you can't get one. Well, I, you can't. You're in Queens. What do you mean? You can't. You cannot get a gun. Why? I have no live, record. You live in Queens. What is it's that? Very mean? hard to get a gun living in the boroughs. For protection. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to conceal carry. Just a uh, firearm. I, I, you know what? It might be all right to get a. I, I don't know. I, I know in Manhattan you can't get. You can't even buy a, a long gun. I think it's different. Different rules. Strange. But with your tiny home, it's going to be like The Walking Dead, where everyone's going to swarm onto your. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. You're going to set up your Gatling gun? <laughs> Just start shooting them all? Yeah. All I'll, right. I'll fucking... I got it, dude. Okay. I'm, I'm fucking... I got two things to land up there. You're looking forward to this. This is like... This is what you've been planning for. This is like you're you're a prepper. Dude, I'm I'm going to buy so much prepping food in the next month uh-huh. to have up there. Sure. I'm going to store it up there. You're going to need a second tiny home. You're going to need a tiny, I got a a tiny fridge home. I have a shed. Oh, tiny I'm, shed? I'm going to buy a uh, tiny shed and I'm buying a trailer. Ah. I'm gonna buy a trailer. Yeah, dude. It, I, look it. If shit goes down, if shit goes down, yeah. I don't know if I'll make it forever, but yeah. I'll, I'm not gonna be the first. I'm not gonna. Be, I just don't want to be the first ones to die. Brendan will be the first one. Brendan's gone. Norton's yeah. gone. Yeah, many people are gone. Voss is gonna last a little bit because he has Marlboro Mile tents and and, <laughs> and he has a crossbow and he'll shoot squirrels yeah i'm only i'm bonnie's only, dead i'm gonna survive longer than i thought only because of my kid his boss will kill her yeah. the first day yeah, yeah i don't know why you're killing squirrels what are they Funk. yeah <laughs> <laughs> just to rip off an arm to eat every day you know yeah you uh-huh. you i cannon will make it cannon will make it because he's his Father, his uh, stepfather has man. 400 guns. You know he, what I mean? he lives with a man. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he, he has access to a man. <laughs> yeah, he, has, yeah. he has access to a man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I don't, the plan's already in there. It's just as soon as something goes down, Don, get in the truck. Yeah. And I'll meet you in New Hampshire. That's it. I picture you with like the Mad Max truck, just like all of like the fucking titanium on the sides and the. I got a nice fucking. One of those like little ramps at the front that you could just plow through (laughs) crowds of people. Dude, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I got questions for you. Wait, what happened to this? Is this quiz? What did? What was the quiz quiz over? Uh, There's a few more. What was? Hurry up, speed through it. Why? This is what's problem with Max. He doesn't understand like production. (laughs) Oh, this quiz is 75 questions. It takes an hour. I will do this quick. I like women in army uniforms. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. I like women in hijabs. What's that? The head yep. thing. I guess I don't know. I mean, I, like I, don't, I don't know. Not as much as not as much as I'll the say no. I like to see. I like you to can't see, say no. I like to see their hair. I like to see some you, hair. So no on the hijab. I'm not okay. against them, but I okay. prefer to see a face. So no. Yeah. No. Okay. I like having fun on the beach. Yes. Uh, do you like watching the news? No. Uh, who do you support? Israel, Palestine? Neither. I'm not answering that. Okay. I, I mean, I'm like, right. neither. Uh, I have my leanings. Do you believe yeah. in God? Yes, no, Allah, Yahweh. I believe in evolution and science. I don't know, man. I'm like agnostic. There's something. Uh, I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, beheading is okay, yes or no? No. <laughs> uh, you support Hamas. How? <laughs> How is that? Your questions, your answers. But I said so many pro-Israel things. <laughs> And I actually specifically said I don't support Hamas. <laughs> yeah, but you're maybe in your brain you don't, but in your heart you do. But if I support if I support them going to the beach and hijabs, I think you just answered it how you wanted to answer it. <laughs> maybe Max does know how I'm to produce. I'm anti-Hamas. Yeah. Maybe Max is a good producer. Very anti-Hamas. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. We got questions for you. Sure. Uh, Jeff Levine, <laughs> what is your <laughs> what is your favorite scenario from? Uh, here's the scenario. It's a good one. That's yeah. There was a. I always like when people give like. Sometimes people put real thought into them, and there's always like the one that's like, they cover every base, any sort of technicality. Like you got to do this, but you can't use this, and you got to do this, and you can't use this. There was one time though. I remember the worst question, which was very fun, which was at uh, Skankfest last year. Some guy got up, had the, you know, had the courage to come up, ask a question into the microphone, and I forgot what the que- the question was so dumb that it elicited a response from Sam Talent that goes. What is this? Your first day at question school, <laughs> and it was the funniest thing I've heard. So I like that. So that was what's your what's your favorite one? 
I mean, uh, you know, you can't remember one. No, just all the like the really long, specific ones where we have to come up with something creative. Okay, we got another question. Sam Grayson, any plans to start a new podcast now that it's over? I have some projects that I actually want to do that I'm like, I don't know about like, I mean, starting a whole new podcast might be a whole thing. So you're uh, done podcasting. No, I mean, I like maybe in the future, but it's like I, I, I did snarky for like six or seven or almost a year. I, I think a year almost I did it, which was just my solo podcast of me just ranting for an hour. And it was very fun, um, but it's just so much work. And it just was like, you know, it didn't it didn't pay off in a way that justified continuing to do it. But I do have like an idea for a show that I want to do that's going to be more like, you know, an interviewee fun thing. But I think it would probably be better suited visually, but maybe there'll be the audio component to it as well. Okay, but, there you go. Yeah. Jennifer Parker, I saw your horror film at Scanfest. What are your favorite horror movies? I was always the... Uh, a little context, by the way. We filmed, me and Feeney yes. filmed um, a uh, anthology short, Five, I think there's going to be five yeah. in total. We're one of them. They've already shot two uh, horror shorts, and we did uh, uh, it together. And it was that. Dude, it was great. Yeah. I had a great time. Yeah. I think he needs to edit a little more, maybe That's, speed it up. Not a short 20 minutes. Not a short There you go. You <laughs> see? <laughs> Uh, yeah. If you did that, in a, if you did that in an English accent, not a, not a, not a quick. What, what do they say? What's their word for quick? They use something else, right? Like not a, not a. Ah, who gives a shit? Whatever. Not a quick twenty minutes. Do something. Not a speedy, not a speedy <laughs> twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a speedy twenty minutes, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Speedy. Help. Fuck, that was I, the word. I help you. Thank baby. you. Finally, it was. Well, you went negative. Of, you oh, fucking yeah. flip. <laughs> I was scared. What? Jiffy. Jiffy. Oh, oh Jiffy. Do yeah, it not, Jiffy. A, not a Jiffy little 20 minutes, is it? <laughs> uh, but the... Uh, Dude, you have to start talking an English accent. Just become Jeff I Leach. want you to say hi to Liz uh -huh. all the time. Hello, Liz. Oh, nice man. to see you. She will be violent towards <laughs> me if I do that. She will throw a shoe at you. Yeah. She hates the British. She's a patriot. Yeah, goddamn right. Yeah, is. yeah. Um, but I liked the Halloween movies as a kid because I, I never liked Supernatural like horror where it's like Freddy and all that like you're scary but the whole like I die then I come back and I'm getting you in your dreams and I uh, you shoot me a hundred times I just keep on I loved Halloween because it was like normal a regular person goes crazy and that's the shit that that's also why Texas Chainsaw Massacre is another one that I loved I loved like just fucking a normal person who snaps because I need that little basis in reality and I can really see it happening. <laughs> yeah, <basically. laughs> I know. It's kind of freaking me yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do yeah. like Hamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like hummus. I won't even say no mas around anymore, you know? <laughs> All right, listen, man. You got to check out his special. Go look at it now. He's one of the funniest young guns out there right now. He is hilarious. The special is filmed right here at the cellar. Very unique, uh, creative, special. It's a fast, jiffy 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, please. It's 20 minutes. Like it. Share it. Support it. Uh, help the algo with a comment. Help the algorithm. And uh, make sure you go uh, and see him. Where are you going to be? Where can they see your dates? Um, MikeFeeneyComedy.com. I actually now I'm going to be headlining uh, in the New York Comedy Festival. I'm headlining a, uh, a show on November uh, 12th at New York Comedy Club. Uh, so if you're in New York City, come see that. If not, uh, i got to put a bunch more dates up on, uh, on MikeFeeneyComedy.com. But for now... All I care about, watch the special, youtube.com slash Mike Feeney. Watch the special. He's got a baby. Yes. It cost him a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't had sleep. I hope you enjoy it. Yes. I think you will. And if and, you don't. And yeah. You know. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it and say it. Allah Akban. <laughs> <laughs> I stand if, with. If you people. don't watch his special, you're infidel. Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't watch his special, I will join Hamas instead of <laughs> supporting the people of Israel. No, if if you watch it, he won't. Okay, how's that? There you yeah, go. Don't do that yeah. one because they'll not watch it. Oh yeah, so yeah. You so I radicalize. <laughs> uh, yeah. And make sure you check out my dates, RobertKellyLive.com. I'm all over the place: <laughs> Kansas, Kansas City, Boston, Mass. Comics come home, Portsmouth, Baltimore. I'm uh, at Diana, Daniana. What is it? Dania, hate it. Uh, <laughs> Fort Wayne. I'm all over the place. Check me out. 
Uh, I'm working all summer. Go to comicwearables.com. Use code word ladybugs. Get 20% off all. You got the regs hat. The new hat's going up there soon. YKWD Skankfest. Uh, YKWD. Uh, we got the beanies up there. Papa King. Right there. Use your code word and you will get your stuff for 20% off at comicwearables.com. And make sure you check out these guys. My the uh, autistic three. What do you got, guys? Uh, Max Marcus comedy, all social media. You can check out the Cheese Show on YouTube by just typing in Cheese Show. And at Danny oh, Brass on Instagram, and uh, November eighth at Westside Comedy Club in New York City. What did you spill? I didn't spill anything. What did you knock over? I touched a wire that <laughs> I wish it was electrified. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and again. Mike Feeney special right now, youtube.com slash Mike Feeney comedy. It's called Mike Feeney, a night at the comedy cellar. I love you all. Thank you very much. Let's blow it up. Let's blow it up. Yes. You know what, do fans? Blow leave that a, special leave up. Leave a comment and say, I'm here from YKWD. Yeah, blow you know? it up like he likes doing. Yeah. Blowing things up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week on You Know What Dude podcast. See you later. Listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. <laughs>